All right, so I wrote down a lot of stuff. Let's see how fast I can get through it all. Oh boy. Recap. All right, so let's just run down the list. Is this the top of the list? Yes, okay, so TTS, the text-to-speech. Things work. Um, now I just have to whip myself into a schedule that viewers can sort of subscribe to because my biggest hurdle so far is my sleep schedule. Uh, I mean, why would people follow or sub to a channel that was operational for three days in their time zone and now operates in a completely different time zone? That's pretty much it. Um, we go into matters not as important. Uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds has been 100 percented for now. Each new patch brings potential for a new hero, new minions, new chances for some intern to ride out an obtuse challenge that is most easily accomplished in the first four to seven weeks of the update when nobody knows how to really play that composition of the game. You know, because once people start to know what the good tribes are, what the amazing combos are, what the memes are, then it's a lot harder to sort of do some of the challenges that the developers have written in. Just because some of those challenges are attached to characters that are just not designed very well competitively. But for now, I can relax and just absorb and just bathe in the glow that is 100%. I wonder what is normal Hearthstone now? Like, what does that look like? Maybe I'll look into it next month. Not for now. Tears of the Kingdom. All shrines have been done. All 152. I found the puzzles actually interesting or fun. There wasn't any that were really trivial or boring. Maybe there were one or two that were trivial. But the most frustrating shrines were those where the challenges were just getting to the dang entrance of the shrine itself. Hated it. The Master Sword has been acquired. So I've browsed the other quests and side stories, and frankly, I'm either burnt out right now and I just need to take a break, or I'm just really uninterested in those other side stories. So either way, the main story is the most compelling. So next we meet Tears of the Kingdom story-wise, maybe done. Everything, like most of it might be explored. I am planning out a digital roadmap, like a caravan of chaos, if you will, based within the game so that I can run that game for a future charity. So I just, I, pl I try my best to play through the game and get to finishing it. But based on the actions that the viewers have, the game might take a little longer. <laughs> um, so on that note, I have reminded myself that I wanted to do two charity events this year with a third as a bonus challenge to achieve to approve upon what I've tried to do in the past. This year is progressing ever faster, it feels, and therefore I am slacking and not doing most of what I planned I should be doing. That being, after learning new skills, stream using it, in this case, it's learning TTS, Blender stuff, the little OBS things. Uh, planning out small charities. 
then gather potential participants, then execute the events, and then see what can be done better. And so with that, I am now adhering to something of a show schedule. The recap series has kept me relatively regular as far as uploading to YouTube and just remind, reminding myself how to even operate Sony Vegas. So I just need to kick myself in the butt and just start streaming no matter how embarrassing or uninteresting that content might be and I can just kind of take that as constructive criticism and then work on that. So the challenge here is to share it, even if I think it's boring. Perhaps my messing around will even save someone else some time and stress in the future. So YouTube is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Links will be in the description in, of this video, but a quick description is the non-chill, lackadaisy gaming things. So more sort of focused, kind of silent, but like I'll be working in Blender, Unity, Unreal Engine, yada, yada, yada. Um, those things will be streamed to my oldest channel, Tyler Tashima. For the more silly things, for the more gaming things, those will be streamed to Wild Roo Yonder as seen here. Um, and then shorts, clips, and highlights will be posted right here on level three. So that leaves twitch.tv. Those will be, I haven't left it yet, so those will be Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we'll mostly be gaming, but I may mess with programs like OBS, Blender, Bikubot, VC face, and the like. So that's the tentative schedule for now. Again, all of that will be in the description below. Please check that out. Follow those channels because, wait, what about time windows? I have a very messed up sleep cycle right now. So I want to prove to myself first that I can get the days in line before I prove to the public that I am worth their time. So once I can get just so once I can get the days down, then I can sort of fine tune the time windows in which I can get lunch, when I can get dinner, when I can go to sleep, yada, yada, yada. Otherwise, I'm just going until I exhaust myself and that's not healthy. So just to acknowledge my past declarations to animations and image rendering, those haven't been forgotten, just paused while I familiarize with a new bit of tech. Um, this time it's Bikubot, so hopefully late July sees a massive uptake in produced stuff. So that's streams, GIFs, images, less lazy thumbnails like the ones you've been seeing for the recaps. And that's all I can recall for this week. On to the next week. <laughs> so thanks for checking in. Later.